hello everyone let me hope everyone is doing well welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm called sharita ahmed i do motivational videos cleaning decluttering and organization decoration diy videos so please consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for those who have so far subscribed and those who have not yet subscribed please join me and subscribe yes in this video today i'm going to be showing you some of the habits i practice to keep my home clean and organized though i have little ones at home so you can still keep your home clean look good and throughout the day though you have children at home so i'll be showing you how i keep my home clean Empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am proud And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate all this old The first thing I do in the morning before even taking breakfast, I first lay my bed. That is the first thing I do. I clean my bedroom because once I get out of the bedroom, I know I will not get time to come back. So I first organize the bedroom before getting out of the bedroom so that uh, the bedroom will remain fresh and clean throughout the day. So for the laundry, I always take three to two days, then I do laundry because I don't want to pile up a lot of clothes. When you pile a lot, it will not be easy for you to iron and organize them well. So also to do other stuff that day. I don't, um, some people give a day for laundry, which I don't do. I don't give a date of laundry. I always do laundry when I see that, yeah, the clothes are now much, I always do that. Because if you give a day for laundry, what about other cleaning routines? Like cleaning the house, doing that. Yeah, I always do laundry when I see the clothes are piled up. Then after laundry, I always clean my washing machine for another day. I don't keep it dirty because when you keep it dirty it will give you a lot of work 
that is another day when you want to do laundry so i i clean it immediately after laundry so after laundry i always fold the clothes and iron the which uh, the clothes which are supposed to be ironed then i arrange them in the wardrobe but before arranging them in the wardrobe i always declutter i don't give a day of de uh, decluttering no if you give a day of decluttering that will be a lot of work i always declutter when i'm organizing my clothes in the wardrobe it is easier and it will make the space tidy it will make the space organized and very I don't know but i always declutter when i'm organizing so here i'm removing the clothes which we no longer use the clothes which are just old and the clothes which are no longer fitting my kids and my hubby and me so that is decluttering don't give a day for decluttering always declutter when you're organizing that is a tip which i use to make my space clean and organized so these are the clothes which are, I no longer use. So I'm, I'm going to be putting them away. I'll put them in the suitcase. I'll give them away or maybe take them somewhere. So what I do after laundry in the evening, after the clothes are dry, I always fold them, iron the ones which are supposed to be ironed and put them in the wardrobe immediately. I don't keep clothes for the next day. Some people keep clothes for the next day. They will be like, no, uh, I'm tired. Today was the laundry day and I'm tired. Uh, I'll, do the, uh, I'll do it next time, which I don't do. I do everything immediately. And if you start, uh, you practice that habit, trust me, your home will always be clean and tidy. Do everything immediately. So after washing, doing laundry in the evening, I always, uh, organize the clothes for the kids and put them where they're supposed to be I don't keep clothes uh, I don't keep them for the next day no so here I use a small towel and water plus some liquid soap or omo to wipe down the walls because the kids touch the walls and they tend to be so dirty so I do this once a week and another trick you have to keep away the pencils the pens from them because they can write on the walls and they scratch the walls as well so i always keep them away from them so that they don't destroy the wall so as you see them they are playing and sometimes they can be dirty sometimes they can be playing with food sometimes they can be playing with their toys so how I keep the uh, the couch clean, I always put a throw blanket in the couch so that it is easier for you to grab the throw blanket and wash it rather than uh, um, wiping the entire sofa. So I always keep the throw blanket there. And here in the dining area, after eating, or having lunch or having breakfast, I always clear the the dining immediately and i wipe it immediately after taking the things in the kitchen i wipe the dining <laughs> kitchen i always make sure the sink area is always clean and tidy i always after washing plates my utensils i always wipe them and put them away in the cupboards i put a cavera in my bin to make it uh, to keep it clean and here in this corner i have uh, a small rack where i always put the onions tomatoes no not tomatoes onions and irish and other dry things uh, this rack keeps um, keeps the space clean and organized uh, and it saves also space 
because it has very many compartments. 